Hey guys, uh, welcome again to this video number 509 uh, and uh, you, 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 you must have seen the video number 508 also. This is the part number 2 uh, though it has, uh, I mean, uh, it has no, not actually so much relevance with the previous video uh, because I will also explain the same stuff here uh, but of course with not that much of uh, in detail, you know, in-depth knowledge uh, but it, uh, I, my advice would be to go ahead, go ahead and watch the video number 508 as well, right? The part one where I talked about how to, uh, you know, uh, run the loop and uh, get the information, import the user form controls, uh, their name, right? So in this video further, we'll go to the next level and uh, it, it is the intermediate Excel VBA level. We would like to work with the selected uh, user forms. Like for example, in your user form, you have a... Uh, text boxes, option buttons, frames, combo boxes, calendars and you want to only work with the text boxes any selected user form type so how to do that right so very warm greeting to all of you and um, this is the channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar where you can watch uh, all these 500 plus videos on Excel VPA, Excel Access Frontend and Access VPA right couple of videos on um, I mean not couple in fact just two videos on web design as well and I will definitely go ahead and uh, talk more on, uh, on the web designing part as well but for now you can watch all these four subjects and this is the sequence in front of you and this is also I'm trying to give you a reply on your email emails questions where you ask how to start the learning if you if you, because there are so many videos so these these are the playlist sequence every playlist will have 10 15 20 maybe more than 40 in some playlist you know we have so many videos so you need to go and click on the playlist according to the sequence right so let's go and talk about today's subject guys now i want to show you here so the moment i click on this form you see that this form has a button called submit button and text boxes three text boxes two option buttons and one is the frame so you can put other controls as well but i just want to talk about that how to be you know how to choose the uh, uh, any specific type of control for example let's say we want to say that uh, for any text box we want to uh, you know import them we want to import their names in the excel or maybe you we want to change their size you know then how to do that right so let's go ahead and um, let's talk about this so i go to the visual basic now the form i have already created and obviously guys uh, i must tell you that uh, uh, generally if you see my any of the video which you think that it's little fast that's only the reason that uh, that's not the basic video so like for example in this video uh, i have not drawn i have not designed the form from the very beginning i have already created the form if you do not have any idea about the user forms how to create them then actually you are supposed to pause this video and you're supposed to go to the excel vba user form playlist and watch the all the videos in a, the sequence which you find there right so in that uh, user form playlist you'll find um, uh, i think around um, uh, 10 15 videos and they we talked about almost every control how to design the user form uh, how to design the combo bo uh, buttons uh, why the combo box are used uh, why we create the option buttons how do we create them why do we create the text boxes uh, list boxes you know blah 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 there are n number of um, you know things and i have uh, I, I had uh, discussed all of them in my this series right so now what we want to do is uh, we simply go to the submit button so what i want to do i go and click on the submit button and now i'm going to show you that if you want to just let's say import the text box text boxes you know the controls specific controls so how to do that now in my previous video i already shown you that we are going to use the collection loop collection loop for each control in my user form controls so i define ctrl as one of the variables object variable as control this is how we write it right and then for each my control which is ctrl and then you write the user form name this we have seen in the previous video so i'm not really going to spend much time on that i'll immediately come to the point so this is how you can import all the you know the values right in the sheet or maybe the message box whatever you want to do i'll just keep it to the message box and this is how we write you know the name now you know what uh, if i just quickly run this see what is going to happen i run this and i click here now you see you get the text box one you get the text box two three and then this is the command button which is cmb submit i have given this name otherwise by default the name comes as command button one 
so then the frame one and then option button one option button two and that's it right but now i just want to let's say get the text boxes only i want to see the text boxes name only so what you will do in that case um, you will put the if condition here and this is the new thing we are going to learn here so we have a function called uh, type type name so you can write here that if the type name if the type name of your control which is whatever the control you will have if that is equals to text box so right here text box now make sure you write the correct the case uh, you know sensitivity is very much uh, implemented uh, we need to take care of it because in excel we where case sensitivity is there uh, only for the if functions i i haven't come across any other thing in excel we where which has a case sensitive sensitivity issue right so what i'm trying to say is when if you remember when i clicked on the button submit button i i was getting the text box one text box two so make sure you should not write them in this way for example uh, don't write everything in the small case you know like this is text box you got to write the same way uh, because it is a case sensitive so this is how we we throws that text boxes text box one text box two and you know but you can write simply that if the text box type if the control type is a text box then only you would like to see the message box otherwise otherwise nothing otherwise simply go to the else and end if right so now guys when you run this see what's going to happen we got the text box one this is the case sensitive part i was talking about t is in the caps b is in the caps and rest everything is in the small uh, you need not to worry about the text box uh, the you know this numeric number one or two because we are talking about the type so whether it is a text box 2 or 1 or 3 or 4 the type always remains the text box so we have now text box 3 and finally you see the loop is finished so that is how you can use this actually the type you know name function and you can uh, you know further um, i would say filter your search right whatever you are doing now uh, for example you can also do one thing you can see that if it is a text box then let's say i want to re reduce the width of that you know text box to let's say i write here uh, maybe five for example and i want to let's say i want to make them on the uh, maybe top or maybe let's say the left right i want to position them uh, from the left as two for example this is what i want to do right now if i run this let me put the break code here uh, i will show you in a F8 mode. Uh, so let's say I click here and this is your form. Now let's hit on the submit button. This is going to be a fun actually. Uh, so now you see that the first name is text box one. So what will happen? The width should be decreased. You know, it should be five. You see that guys, the width is reduced, right? And then I'm going to move this to the left part of the user form. Look at this guys, right? So this is just for fun. I mean, you should be knowing that, you know, what all things you can do. So I'm sharing it with you. Maybe if in any of your project anywhere you want to use it you can use it obviously width 5 doesn't make any sense but uh, you know you should know that you can do some selective things uh, you know in these forms right using the uh, for each loop or uh, along with the if condition right now remember one thing guys uh, this is not going to change the basic structure of form because if i just reset this let me close this look at the form the next time when you run the form that doesn't mean that your form is going to reduce you know you will have the, that modification in the form that is only for that particular moment when you till the time you have that form in use the moment you reset the code the moment you click back on that the form would be you know would look like that only right so um, this is uh, this is how you you can actually uh, you know use this uh, the loop and uh, i i want to uh, tell you one more thing that this is the you know the type name function uh, if you're wondering that where i'm going I'm, I'm supposed to use this then you can go ahead and watch my next video 510 because in that video i will educate you that how to actually connect the excel with the ms word application and how to export your all the sheets data the you know the data which you have in the different different sheets of your excel how to put that data in the ms word and at the same time how to make those ms word documents you know uh, having that specific range so that video you can watch uh, if you want to see the extreme side of excel vba from where we are going to control and in that case what i will do i will use this type name right so that video is going to be a great fun so uh, 
that's it uh, so this is the new thing type name was the new thing which i wanted to share it with you uh, because this is very useful actually and as i said that you can go ahead and watch the 510 video also to see the power of this feature right so uh, that's it for now guys and um, i hope uh, uh, you you have liked this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, we will be talking uh, to each other in the very next video very soon until then you take care of yourself and have a fantastic learning